Hi, I'm Carol Galante. I'm the faculty director of the Turner Center for Housing Innovation at UC Berkeley. I have a long background in housing affordability issues, starting working in local government, uh, doing housing planning uh, in the city of Santa Barbara, California, wrote one of the first inclusionary housing zoning ordinances in the state. Uh, so I've got both policy background and then I spent a good chunk of my career uh, actually building and developing uh, housing that's affordable to people of low and moderate incomes through several uh, nonprofit uh, organizations, including Bridge Housing, uh, which was uh, where I was the CEO for uh, 13 years. And then um, I worked for the Obama administration running the Federal Housing Administration and the multifamily housing programs at, at HUD from 2009 until um, 2014. So I am someone who really believes in developing policy solutions that can actually be implemented uh, and used by the people who actually are developing and uh, building real estate, whether that's market rate or affordable or mixed income. And um, so I would say that right now, what I am most focused on in this COVID era and climate change pressures we have. And you know, I sit here in Berkeley, California, uh, suffering from smoke problems from the wildfires. And I do believe that we need both policy solutions uh, that will enable uh, industry, nonprofit, for-profit, uh, Go government to actually implement changes that enable us to get to both lower cost housing, so housing affordability, housing that is uh, geographically in places that provide opportunities uh, for lower income uh, households, particularly uh, as a racial equity issue. We know that we've got long history of zoning and finance discriminating against Black and Latino communities, and uh, that needs to be rectified while we're solving help for housing affordability. And I would say last but not least um, is we have to also be solving for our climate change goals. So uh, you can get to more housing affordability if you, uh, as we say, drive till you qualify, uh, building homes on the outskirts of uh, urbanized areas. But that means people are uh, driving for their jobs and because uh, that's not where the jobs are. So I'm looking for uh, policy solutions uh, and creative uh, on the ground practice solutions that really can help communities of uh, you know, round the square, you know, making all of these things possible at the same time, housing affordability, climate change mitigation, racial equity, uh, those things all at the same time is, is, a, is a heavy, heavy lift, but I think is critically important um, at this moment in time. So how do we do that? Um, I, th I think I'm going to uh, leave most of that uh, to your creative thoughts, but I would say that the idea of uh, gently knitting in uh, homes uh, in existing uh, communities, infill, but maybe a little broader than some the way the infill definitions are somehow sometimes defined in California, like you have to be a quarter mile from a major transit station. You know, I think, you know, we've got to think about the trade-offs between the policies we have um, and, and what is practical in terms of getting us uh, significantly to the solutions uh, that we want. So knitting in density in single family neighborhoods, in uh, commercial zones, in places, you know, in pu on public lands. Um, these are the kinds of things that I am uh, particularly interested in 
in finding creative solutions uh, for. And that can be everything from how do we find those sites? You know, is there a technological solution to finding these right kind of sites? Uh, is it policy solutions uh, that are more coordinated at the state level? Uh, is it giving localities a playbook for how to get to these solutions? Um, and is it, and or is it uh, training uh, industry to uh, think differently about how they build and where they build? And what are the right incentives to get developers to build in, you know, just a, a fourplex or fourplexes at one time within one community? And how do you get the finance system to support uh, this kind of infill uh, building, which frankly, it doesn't today. So I'm laying out a lot of the problems I see to getting to uh, what I think is really important, which is this, you know, integrated approach to how we develop housing affordability that is equitable and uh, sustainable over time. So good luck. <laughs>